sorry, Sean. Sophie should have made you a bit of potato or an omelette or something. No, that's great. Thank you, Mrs. Webster. <laughs> how's the um, how's new factor? Well, it's quite snazzy, actually. Management have got it best, of course, with swanky new offices. But we have got a trendy new kettle. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Ignore the words snazzy and trendy. Hey, Sean isn't shallow like you, madam. Oh, yeah. Sarah, your halo's in the post. <laughs> I wish I was back at school. Oh, Mum got in with a gang of smokers and skivers. <laughs> you did. Karen Jones and Nicky Furlong? <laughs> yeah. Asbos haven't been invented then. Hey, we were Asbo material. Mum, you smuggled cherry miniatures into the Christmas disco? <laughs> she got excluded for three days. <laughs> Radical. I'm a hardcore mum. <laughs> Are you still in touch with him? No, I lost touch with Nicky years ago. I don't I miss it. We were inseparable. We warned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Oh, it can't be. Do you know, the morning drags on like nobody's business. It gets to lunchtime and it whizzes round like a Disney clock. Maybe Faye's left it. The penny finally dropped. I married a perv. Well, he'd be the one who'd have to leave her because it's her house. God, it must have been a big ding-dong. Maybe he's after a bit of school uniform again. Oh, you keep away from him. Duh! <laughs> oh, the godfather is so needs a makeover. <laughs> She's fine as she is. It's you whose hem could come down a few inches. <laughs> Where is she anyway? What with a Siamese twin? Oh, she's hooked up with a few mates in town. Leia Sally Webster. No, I'm afraid she's not here. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, she's very lucky. Okay, thank you. Bye. What's up, Mum? It was Celia from the Headline Festival. Someone handed in Sophie's purse. OMG! Sophie Webster, your pants are on fire! With the lies! To me face! All right, Mum. All right, come on, calm down. I mean, it's only a festival. It's no biggie. It's not like she's on crystal meth or anything. Faced whoppers about flaming Southport. A right proper little double act. I thought Sean was a good influence on her. So you enjoyed Southport, did you girls? Yeah, of course we enjoyed it. And I hope you offered to help Sean's mum with the washing up and the cooking and things. Yeah, we did a bit, didn't we? We made that meal that one day, didn't we? Oh, did you? What did you make? Um. A mixture. A mixture. Yeah. No one just get everything and throw it all together. Because I had a very strange phone call earlier on from a woman from a music festival saying she had your purse. No way. So I made another phone call or two and it turns out that you never did any washing up, Sophie, because you were never in Southport. Oh, what happened? What happened was, you asked your dad and I if you could go to the music festival, we said no, and you decided to go anyway. I'm sorry. To hell with us, you just snuck off. We had no idea where you were. No, because it was only for a couple of days. Well, you're grounded, Sophie, indefinitely. And as for you, Charlotte, I don't want to see you in this house again. I mean, Rosie, I could believe this of Sophie, but not you. Hey, what have I done? So say your goodbyes and make it fast. Dad? I agree with every word your mother's said. What, even the bit about me? Especially the bit about you. Hasn't today taught you anything? It's time to hang up the spurs, throw in the trowel. Are you threatening? Maybe. Hey, your dad's here. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey okay. We're not interrupting anything. Uh, uh, oh. Jason, two more drinks here, please. Oh, I don't know. After the afternoon we've had. 
Honestly, Bill, what have we done to bring our daughter up a liar? Uh, trick question. 